the world of science and the environment, today is a significant anniversary. Fifty years ago, on April 22, 1970, the world celebrated the first Earth Day. Now, arguably, it was Rachel Carson's 1962 book, Silent Spring, about the dangers of pesticides that kick-started the environmental movement at that time, but it wasn't just that. Many American rivers were severely and visibly polluted. For example, 240 million gallons of waste were dumped in the Potomac River every day as it flowed past Washington, D.C. Oil-soaked debris in the Cuyahoga River in Cleveland, Ohio, had caught fire at least a dozen times, most recently in 1969. While earlier that year, an oil spill off Santa Barbara, California, at that time the largest spill in U.S. waters, blackened beaches and killed thousands of marine animals. It's against that backdrop that Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson is generally credited with the idea of Earth Day. He hired a young Stanford grad named Dennis Hayes as his primary organizer. Now, the late 1960s was a time of great unrest on college campuses, with anti-war protests called teach-ins held across the country. Senator Nelson thought, why not have a nationwide teach-in about the environment to force the issue onto the national stage? He wanted to attract the largest number of college students, not too early in spring to risk snow, nor too late to conflict with final exams, and in midweek so people wouldn't be on weekend trips. And those constraints led to a Wednesday in late April in 1970. That was April 22nd. As for the name Earth Day, that was the brainchild of a top Madison Avenue ad executive at the time, Julian Koenig, who also came up with the famous catchphrase, Timex. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. To top it off, April 22nd was his birthday. So for him, it was a natural. Earth Day, birthday. And millions turned out for that first Earth Day, spread across thousands of colleges and primary and secondary schools and hundreds of communities. New York Mayor John Lindsay closed Fifth Avenue to motor vehicle traffic, while Senator Edmund Muskie was a keynote speaker in Philadelphia. And 25 years later, Gaylord Nelson received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor, He's now hailed as the grandfather of all that grew out of that first Earth Day, including the Clean Water Act, an amended Clean Air Act, and the Endangered Species Act. And it's no coincidence that President Nixon proposed the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, less than three months after that first Earth Day. I find it eerily ironic that as we remember the first Earth Day 50 years ago, we are in the grips of a pandemic that has slowed the world's economies so much that the environment is, in many ways, cleaner today than it has been in decades. I'll have some examples next week. Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.